Okay. But there is something that is causing a, a bit of a stare online, and you see a lot of pictures that have surfaced. Of those people who are saying there are discrepancies uh, as far as the voter register is concerned. And I think the essence of the claims and objection is simply this. So that if you find anything that is wrong, you might be able to object to it. Uh, let me show you some of um, uh, the pictures that have surfaced. There are people that have put, uh, put them forward to say, uh, what is INEC up to? Look at the, these people. These are obvious underage who are, uh, you know, on INEC register. How can this happen? What exactly is going on? Mr. Okoye, uh, is, is this... Uh, 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 people less than 18 years allowed to vote in this uh, election. If you look at the faces that are captured there, these are definitely less than 10 year olds. I, I have seen these pictures. As you pointed out, the essence of putting out, putting out this is for Nigerians to help the commission further clean up the voters' register. Now, what the commission did was that at the end of the continuous voters' registration exercise, a total of 12 million uh, 298,944 persons uh, completed their registration. Out of this particular number, the commission uh, 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 declared as invalid a total of 2 million uh, 780,756, leaving a total of 9 million 518,188. So what the commission has done is to integrate this number with the existing number on the voters' register, which stood at uh, around 84 million, uh, giving us a total of uh, 93 million 522,272. So that's what we have put out there as a preliminary register that people should check. Now we want people to look at the register and assist the commission. One, check whether their names have been properly spelled whether their personal particulars have been properly uh, captured, whether some pictures are upside down so that we can correct them, whether there are still names of diseased persons uh, on the register, whether there are obviously underage persons on the, on, the, on the register. And we have done this both physically. We have displayed this register in the 774 local government areas of Nigeria and in the 8,809 registration areas across the Federation. Not only that, we have also put this thing up on our website, and we have made it in such a way that, that any person, the word is any person, can go on our website and make, raise an objection relating to the presence of any individual on the register. And, the, and then the moment the person raises an objection or makes a claim, the person will be given a slip and given an indication of where these claims and objections will be had, because that is what Section 19 of the Electoral Act uh, provides. And so we are the ones who willingly uh, put out this in order to enable Nigerians see what we have done, see in what ways they can also help us further to clean up the register so that we can have an authentic, robust, and, um, uh, and a register that Nigerians can be proud of. Yeah. And so I think that is the, what is going on now is the essence of uh, the claims uh, they no, but, display. But, but the issue here, yes. Mr. Okoye, is yes. how did this uh, registration get on your, on your register in the first place? No. They should never have gotten there. No, the, the point I'm making... What are teenagers doing on your register? The point I'm making is that what we have done is to integrate two registers. The one emanating from the continuous voters registration exercise that took place between the uh, 28th day of June 2021 and 31st of July 2022, with the register emanating since 2011. So what we have done is to integrate both of them and then put, put the entire thing out for people to take a look. So and the error of the past may still be reflected right now exactly ex 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 so what they, they, they now okay we, we, whichever happened either it the error was done now in terms of the cvr that was done recently or it was done in 2011 or 2015 or 2019 the question is uh, your register is not that smart or it's not smart enough to be able to identify that this person is of uh, of an age that is not sufficient for registration or what exactly is happening? Is this all done manually? Can we trust the register that INEC has? Well, uh, we cannot claim, in all honesty, that the register does not have errors. 
if the lawmakers believe that a register should not have errors or should not have challenges, they wouldn't have provided in section 19, subsection 1 uh, to 3, that such a register should be displayed for people to make claims, objections, and also lay complaints. So we agree that the register is not perfect. Because it is not perfect, that is why we have these claims, uh, 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 this uh, display for claims and objections. Because the lawmakers believe that the commission can clean up the voters' register to an extent. And we used our automated biometric identification system to remove multiple and double registrants. And then we also did what we call manual adjudication to remove obviously uh, underage persons. Apparently, they are still obviously underage persons on the voters' register. And we expect Nigerians to take a look at the voters' register, both the ones we displayed at the various registration centers and the local governments, and also the one on the website, and also assist the commission to point out these things and so that the commission can further clean up the, the register. So all these things people are pointing out is the essence of the display. And we uh, want to encourage Nigerians to take a critical look at the register, point out some of these uh, uh, um, uh, persons who are obviously not eligible to be on the register, and we will definitely do the So list. if the Nigerian people cannot identify, that means people can still play smart on the process. Well, they can still use the underage to rig election, to, to vote the, legally. The cleanup of the register is a continuous process. I, I don't believe that even after the claims and objections, that we will have removed every ineligible individual in the, in the country. There is still a possibility that one or two or more, more can still sneak in and be on the voters' register. But I believe that... Since we have subjected this thing, we have delivered what we have done to Nigerians. It is now left for Nigerians to also assist the commission do its work and do its work better. And we are pleading with Nigerians to trust this commission, to give us the benefit of doubt. Let them point out those who are not supposed to be there and see whether we have the capacity so we, and we, the courage to do the right thing. We should thing. not think that some of your staff are the ones, because the INEC chairman has said some people will be punished. Oh, definitely. Those who are behind all of this. So that's the question. That Can we go to sleep uh, knowing well that uh, some INEC staff are not uh, having uh, ulterior motives and uh, going behind the, the scene to be able to perpetrate the evil with using the red no, so my next staff are complicit in what has happened. Um, the, the good thing is that each INEX staff that was involved in voters' registration was given a code. And the moment the person gets, in, gets online and registers any individual, we can identify that particular staff. Uh, so we are going to also look at the voters' register, All look right. at the claims and objections, and identify the staff involved. And definitely we proceed against them. So we can go on your website. I type Sean Okimaloye with my age and all of that, and voila. My uh, staff will come out? Definitely, yes. As of now? Yes. If your staff does not come out, you raise your own, uh, you make your own claim. I'll make it right here. I'll make that objection. Please so you better do. make it happen. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much.